Hello there and welcome back to our Nations Cup coverage. Now we come to the third match of this year's African Nations Cup, which features the Lions of Cameroon and surprise World Cup finalist Angola in the first Group B tie of the tournament in the Military Academy Stadium in Cairo. Cameroon has long since failed to keep the myth of them being indomitable as they have not been able to make their mark since the past World Cup glory days. But they did win the Nations Cup in 2000 when they beat Nigeria on their opponent's home soil. One of the outstanding players in the Cameroon squad is undoubtedly Samuel Eto'o. The 2004 African Player of the Year and Barcelona star currently being chased by Chelsea tycoon Abramovich, apparently to the tune of 60 million British pounds. Team colleague Jeremy could be someone to watch as well. The Angolans can't rely on such a roster of stars, but have some interesting names in their squad, like Andre Titi Buengo, who earns his money in France. I hope it is with football. The team can't be written off, though, as they've won the Kosovo Castle Cup three times, the only side ever to do so. Pretty girls, rhythmic drums, let's get the show on the road. And it's the kickoff. Nothing much happened in the opening minutes. So we'll take you up now, a little bit further on down the road. Four minutes after kickoff, Cameroon with their first corner of the match after a shot is headed behind the goal line. There it is. Jeremy from Premier League side uh, Chelsea takes the corner, but we're not showing you that. Because nothing happens. Up now, in minutes, ninth minute, another foul, and this time on Etu. Chelsea's Jeremy takes this one. They're building up the wall now. Chelsea's Jeremy just getting ready. He takes the shot, but his ball glides harmlessly over the top post. But things are happening now on both sides of the pitch. Up into the 14th now. There's a great break on behalf of the Angolans who use the right flank. Flavio crosses to Akva, who just can't reach the cross in time. A fine bit of footballing in a fairly entertaining match so far. The only thing missing? Goals. But we do have a long way to go as yet. Some hustling and tussling going on there. And there we have Rigobert Song, who's now celebrating his 100th cap. Cameroon on, Cameroon on the rebound now. Eto gives it a try. Gamba sees the ball out of danger. That leads to a corner taken by Jeremy, followed by a header from Duala, and a fine save by a wide awake Ricardo in Angola's goal. The indomitable Lions have now set up shop and shaken off their frustration at not reaching the World Cup in Germany this year. In the 19th, a foul leads to a free kick for the Lions. The man for the job, Samuel Eto from Barcelona. And there it is, it's in. The Angolan wall is not as stable as its famous counterpart in China and the ball's in the back of the net. A beautiful goal from someone we expect to deliver. Samuel Eto, the current best footballer in the world. Look at that. What a fabulous shot. No chance for the goalkeeper there. He can just watch it sail by. And Eto says, look at me, flag. It's me, Eto. Lions got their thumb screws out now, and the Angolans, famous for their defence otherwise, started swimming lessons. It practically smelt of a 2-0 lead for Cameroon. Bebo is the man of the minute here. Two big chances for him, actually. There's his first. And they got the ball back again. 
The Lions heading for the front. And now we get the second chance. And it's saved. Lovely save there. No shortage of action in this match. This really all is gripping stuff with a virtual power play by both teams. This match could practically go either way. No shortage of action here either. Saved well by Suleimano, a shot from Edison. This proves that the Angolans have definitely not given themselves up after conceding that Eto goal earlier on. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. The 29th. And what a scene. Akfar in the great position to shoot. Keeper Suleimano brings him down, and the man in black knows what he has to do and points to the spot. Was it a foul or was it not? Even a second look doesn't really decide which way. Flavio ready now to take on the responsibility, showing no signs of nervousness. And which way will it go? That's the way it goes, and the ball's in the back of the net. The equaliser, one all in an absolutely enthralling match. This is really great stuff, which should put the silences on any critics of this tournament. A lovely bit of work there. So now we've got two goals in this match. One each for both of them. Will it stay this way? I doubt it very much. No, no chance for the goalie there. And no letting up for Angola either. Six minutes before half time. Dwala crosses magnificently and finds Ito's head, who has no trouble in hammering the ball into the back of the net. Some wobbly defending, but there it was, Samuel Eto, Barcelona's pride and the pride of the Lions with his second goal of the match. And we're still in the first half. A lovely piece of work here. Sad that they won't be going to the World Cup in 2006. This is football at its best. 2-1 of the promise of more to come. Chances came for both at a breakneck pace. Just look at that, lovely. Can't do better than that. Thrilling stuff, absolutely fabulous. So now we're into the 46 and another attack from Cameroon with Eto absolutely on fire by now. You can feel the heat back here. But this wasn't the bee's hat trick. Oh, great save by keeper Ricardo, keeping Angola out of even deeper trouble. What a fabulous match. This is the sort of action the fans have been waiting for. Now into the second half. We've seen some great action so far with Agfa, Flavio, Jeremy and Eto all displaying their skill and talent. Now Cameroon back on ball again. And they really are having a ball. Duella sees a chance to pump up the scoreline, but gets no joy from Ricardo this time around. No, he doesn't look too happy though. Up into the 55th now. Angola showing no signs of giving themselves up. And it's that man Akva who wanted to equalise just 11 minutes in the second half. But it, a nice piece of work. But it was left out in the cold at the end. It's obvious that the Angolans are in no mood to let the Lions have their own way here. Nice drop kick there. The game's getting tougher now, and we had a few accidents too. Oh, look at that. Rigobert Song gets a ball in the ghoulies. And now on his 100th cap, the anniversary balls are ringing loud and true. Sorry, I mean the bells, the anniversary bells, of course. Oh, talk about scrambled eggs. Oh, that really must hurt. But he didn't stay down for long. He was back on the pitch again. And Angola still hoping for the equaliser. But it was Cameroon who came up with the goods. A lovely surprise, a lovely ball there from Kone finds Samuel Eto who says merci and gets his hat trick. 3 1 for the indomitable Lions. And this must smell dismay for the Angolans. Cameroon is first in the Africa rankings and 23rd in the world. Angola 13th and 61st respectively. Statistics mirrored by events during this match which has been thoroughly enjoyable up to now. The Angolans with their heads hanging now though, practically acknowledging defeat at the hands of an excellent camera. You really can't do better than that. And a fabulous, fabulous bit of playing there from Samuel Eto. A beauty. Certainly not the stuffing out of that nest.
just a few minutes before final whistle now which held a few desperate chances by the Angolans now give it a try now nice bit of passing but it was blocked by Song and the ball just went into limbo time then for a fabulous now we're going to have a look at that one again and the ball goes off play and now we've got him Samuel Eto is off going off for a well-deserved shower confident of a win in the first match of his country's campaign and that was it it's official. Cameroon have reached their target for today and leave the pitch all smiles. Three points for the Lions, and what a display from Samuel Eto. Cameroon look forward to their next hurdle against Togo next Wednesday, and Angola hoping for better days.